The Red Sea is home to some of the world's most beautiful coral. Currently, researchers are regularly diving into Egypt's southern coast, into the reefs of Marsa Alam. Due to marine heat waves, they may be the last to remain. The scientific research has shown that the Red Sea could be the last refuge for coral reefs worldwide. This is the problem. The issue of protecting them has turned from a local to an international issue. The region is the location of 5% of the world's coral. These reefs are special. Due to the post-Ice Age journey from the Indian Ocean, where the Red Sea coral originated, the larvae evolved to survive in very warm waters. The resilience of coral reefs in the Red Sea is high, and they are highly capable of recovering from bleaching. If it happens, this is something we must protect. Bleaching occurs with warming, as the coral's food, its algae, is expelled, starving the coral and making it prone to disease and death. Red Sea coral is one such species that can recover from bleaching. Much of the rest of the world's coral is not so lucky. Just this past summer, 91% of the Great Barrier Reef of Australia was bleached. All research is now talking about coral bleaching that has taken place worldwide as a result of climate change and the rise of seawater temperatures. Therefore, tropical areas are exposed to coral bleaching at high levels. Global warming and pollution killed up as much as 14% of our planet's coral between 2009 and 2018. Even if warming is limited to the goal of the UN Paris Climate Agreement, an increase of 1.5 degrees Celsius in 2100, 99% of coral will not survive. Only 0.2% of the world's seabed is covered with coral. However, the coral is home to more than a quarter of the world's marine life and is a resource dependent on for more than 500 million people. This makes their preservation of the utmost importance.